On Saturday, local media was reporting that there might be a hostage deal that was going to happen very soon. The media said that Israel had accepted a deal and was waiting for an answer from Hamas. These are unconfirmed reports and this is a developing situation. But what we know is that talks have been ongoing in Qatar for a week. Qatari officials have said that they are cautiously optimistic. Antony Blinken, when he was visiting the region this week, he said on Friday that the gaps were narrowing and that there were fewer gaps in terms of what needed to be done. He did, however, say that the last hurdles were still going to be challenging, but promised that the United States was doing everything it can to bring the hostages home. In Gaza, Fighting is continuing, and Israel was on its sixth day of raiding the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza City. Israel says that Hamas is using it as a base, that they have regrouped there. And Israel said that since Monday, when the raid began, they killed more than 170 fighters and arrested hundreds more people. Now, people around the area have also said that Israel is demolishing and bulldozing buildings in that area and not just in the hospital. But there's about 30,000 people sheltering in this hospital. Many of them have been displaced. Israel said that it is providing patients with ev some evacuations. They're moving them to a particular part of the hospital and giving them care. But Gaza's health ministry said on Saturday that at least five people, five injured people who were trapped there had died. They didn't have water or, or enough food or the right medical assistance. Now, all of this comes after a, the UN Security Council failed to pass another ceasefire resolution on Friday. Russia and China vetoed a U.S.-backed resolution that called for an immediate ceasefire. They said that the language was vague and that it didn't do justice to stopping this war. Meanwhile, the humanitarian situation in Gaza is becoming more and more catastrophic. And on Saturday, Antonio Guterres, Secretary General for the United Nations, was on the Egypt side of the Rafa border, the southernmost city in Gaza. He called for a flood of aid to come into Gaza and he said that the starvation was a moral outrage. Aid groups have been warning for months about the potential for famine and an alarming report earlier this week warned of an imminent famine in northern Gaza that could happen by July if there's not a drastic shift in the amount of aid that's coming in and people's access to food. Countries are doing what they can by sea, by air, by land, but aid groups say that there's Israeli restrictions that aren't letting food in and that there's been a breakdown of law and order inside of Gaza. I spoke to two people in Rafa, one man named Nidal. He said that he is receiving a little bit of assistance. He gets one box of food, but he said for his family of seven, it's not even enough to last for a week. Sam Mednick with the Associated Press for CGTN in Jerusalem.